Good evening. Welcome to my garden. My name is Julie and my husband and I live on a half an acre where we grow almost all of our food and we preserve it. And uh, so I came out this morning to uh, pick some greens for a salad. I was going to go to work and I wanted to have my uh, dinner all fixed when I got home. So I came out here to pick greens and while I was picking them, I was excited and I thought, I have got to do this video and inspire people. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. And inspire people that don't grow anything because they're afraid they might fail or they think they don't have a green thumb or whatever the case may be. But I, I needed to talk to you all and encourage you to grow something if you don't. And if you do, then I want to encourage you to try something different. Well, I came out to my garden this morning and I brought my camera and I was sitting here and making a video. And as soon as I started talking, the neighbor's dog started barking and it was quite loud. You wouldn't have enjoyed it being on the camera. And so <laughs> I'm sitting here and we've had rain, lots of rain. And I'm sitting here at the edge of my garden, as you can see. And the chair that I'm sitting in, the back legs of it, started sinking in and there wasn't anything I could do and I just went over backwards so um, I thought that was kind of ironic since the video that I'm making was telling you to persevere and try to grow something well I had to persevere to make this video and um, yeah if that works out I'll show you that video and give you a laugh so um, now back to the topic at hand. <laughs> the topic at hand is that I just want to uh, talk to you a little bit about growing something. In uh, the world where we live now, groceries are getting so expensive. I mean, they're just crazy. Um, and so if you can grow something um, and make a dent in your grocery bill. I mean, and you can grow stuff that's so much better than anything you can get at the store. If you will grow a tomato, if you haven't ever done this, try growing tomatoes yourself. You'll, I mean, you know, uh, Jess on Roots and Refuge says store-bought tomatoes. Tastes like disappointment, and it's true. Once you've grown your own tomatoes, not to mention that you can grow kinds that you can't even buy at the grocery store. Um, but I went out and picked greens this morning, and you can grow those in a, in a pot. You can grow a tomato in a large pot or a bucket. Um, you can grow, there's not really anything you can't grow in uh, a container of some kind. You can put in raised beds, you can do in-ground gardening, but I was just so excited about picking my greens this morning and knowing that I was gonna eat some healthy greens for dinner that I just felt like I wanted to talk to you guys about that and encourage you to grow something. And so, because so many people have told me that they just don't think they can grow, or I just don't have a green thumb, I have put together a garden community. And um, it's a group of like-minded people. We get together, we can uh, post pictures and talk and do some one-on-one. -on -one. If you don't know how to garden, this community is for you because I will hold your hand and take you step by step and tell you what you need to do and when you need to do it. And then I'm also going to show you how to preserve it. So if that's something that sounds like um, something that would help you get started, I'm going to put the link to that garden club in the first comment below so you can check that out. And uh, hopefully you'll join and I'll see you in the Julie's Garden Club. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my funny video from this morning. I told you all that I would share um, my failures and my successes. So that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, but just because you didn't, something didn't grow for you, um, doesn't mean that you can't grow things. Like I have in a pot over here I have some cucumbers that I planted because I planted them twice out here and the roly-polies have eaten them off and I've tried everything I know so now I put them in a raised pot trying to get them to grow there and they're looking pretty good um, they don't seem to be having a problem but sometimes you just have to change things up a little bit and that garden community garden club uh, 
actually gives you a good place where you can discuss those kind of things if you're having problems with something or if you just don't know how to begin. So anyway, I want to help you with that. And so I put together this little community. I hope you'll join. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and share. It helps me out. And I'll see you in the garden next time. And hopefully I won't do any backward somersaults or anything crazy like that. Thanks for joining me.